tweets. This is from WikiLeaks. Uh, Goldman Sachs to give Ecuador $500 million as the United States controlled Inter-American Development Bank, $497 million after U.S. previously threatened to withhold funds over Julian Assange's asylum early this year. So this is how the United States gets Ecuador to buckle. So they go, we're just going to take your money away. We control the banks. We control trade in this hemisphere. And, uh, you know, look what they're doing to Venezuela. Look what they're doing right now. To uh, So that's what happens. So Goldman Sachs is going to now, so because they played along, they took away his internet. They're going to they're gonna hand him over pretty soon. And they, get, they gave him the uh, $500 million. And you're not going to hear a peep about this from... Chris Hayes, Rachel Maddow, uh, Chris Cuomo, Anderson Cooper, Wolf Blitzer. You're not going to hear a peep about this. Oh, you know who else? What? Brian Stelter, Seltzer, <laughs> over at uh, uh, Reliable Sources. He's not going to mention this. And if he, he's not going to mention this. I just tell, I was going to say, well, if he does, he won't tell you. There's no way you can mention this without like telling you what it's about. So uh, he's just not going to bring it up. It's amazing the partisanship and the tribalism when it comes to someone like Julian Assange, who all of these liberals loved Julian Assange when he was exposing the war crimes with the Bush administration, and they just all abandon him just because he, you know, changes politics. The the journalism is still the same. This is still crucial to protect him as and, a person. And, yes, and people forget. Why the corporate Democrats and the establishment hates Julian Assange, it was because he started telling the truth about Hillary Clinton. And that, that's what they're, they're mad at him for printing mm-hmm. that stuff about him. Well, uh, because people always, they go, well, Russia hacked our election. How? The way people think is that they got those emails. And what did those emails say? Those emails said that Hillary Clinton and the DNC rigged the primary election. That's how they rigged the election, by telling people they were cheating in the primary election? Because they never, they always stop short of saying exactly what they did. And that's what WikiLeaks did. They printed those things. And people are making it look like they did it in a partisan way. Like they never printed any dirt on Donald Trump. <laughs> you need dirt on Donald Trump? <laughs> I mean, you got to be kidding me. The stuff he does in public is worse than anything. Any email you can—he doesn't use emails, by the way. So, um, doesn't that tell you everything you need to know about the press? That they're not actually helping a guy who's probably the most important publisher in my generation. I mean, the, the Iraq, the U.S. occupation of Iraq was going to continue if it wasn't for the the WikiLeaks revelation, the collateral murder video. I mean, the U.S. was poised to go past the status of forces agreement, and you know, it was only because of that major revelation that you know all of the. Iraqi politicians, everyone in Iraq who was like, we'll accept some kind of extension of U.S. forces. When that video came out and it got out to the public, the huge scandal of how many uh, war crimes were going unpunished and no accountability, they were like, we're going to start killing you the day you're you're here past the deadline. Because they're all being paid off anyway to stop fighting the U.S. But they're like, well, we'll take a paycheck to stop shooting at you is if you're out by this date. And Obama, the Obama administration, you know, they sent Robert Gates to Iraq right before that was supposed to end because he was going to negotiate extending the status of forces agreement. Uh, and then that video came out and and the Iraqi said, we're going to go back to, to killing all of you if you don't if you don't get out of here right now. Because it was because of Assange. So that in alone put that put that big price on his head. And so, of course, you know, not only did he destroy, you know, the, the Clinton's fantasy war, but then that Hillary's supposed to to take the reins of. But then he, you know, did what and he did. The, and then too. he went on to reveal the secrets of how CIA spies on us, mm-hmm. right? Vault, Vault seven. seven. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so now, and so they've wanted to kill him even more, mm-hmm. right? The CIA wants him dead. Yeah. And uh, it's it, and 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 the CIA. Bill Binney told me what he told Pompeo and Donald Trump was that this, your officers are lying to you. They're not giving you correct intelligence on purpose. Mm-hmm. And. Again, that doesn't get reported except for places like this, and people have no idea. They can't understand that there could be no good guys in a situation, that Donald Trump is is maybe horrible, and um, Robert Mueller, also horrible. Uh, Hayden, also horrible. Mm -hmm. Brennan, also horrible. Like, you know, our intelligence community is horrible. They're a bunch of uh, murdering torturers who overthrow democratically elected uh, governments before breakfast. What's not to like? So, um, okay. Yeah, it's it's disturbing how much the Trump administration has actually they're amped up their rhetoric against WikiLeaks, where you have Pompeo, so, uh, all these so people. So it is confusing, right? Yeah. And so why would they? 
because they want to prove themselves, I think, to yeah. the establishment and be like, no, we'll we'll persecute Julian Assange if he comes here. We'll we'll have his head, you know. Yeah. And that's really insane because, um, yeah, Trump on the campaign trail, as we were mentioning before, he was saying, I love WikiLeaks, I love these, right? Yeah. You know? And so I think, yeah, just just a show of force. So it's really scary what they're doing to Julian Assange, and it's really scary what Lenin Moreno is doing to Ecuador. Um, he has. You see what Lenin Moreno is doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's even worse. <laughs> he's got he's got uh, cream in their face. <laughs> Who who would who is it? The new president he, yeah. of Ecuador. I, actually, Abby's twice interviewed the former president of Ecuador, Rafael Correa, who's the one that defended Assange and said, "You can stay in our embassy, and we're going to protect you." Um, and then he endorsed this candidate. He didn't decided not to run for re-election, even though he was hugely popular. He endorsed this candidate, Lenin Moreno. And then soon after Moreno got elected, just a couple years ago, uh, he showed to be really willing to get in bed with the U.S. and the, and the CIA. And so that's why Assange is, is in so much danger now, right. because the popular government of Ecuador, which really turned it around from neoliberalism, was like, no, we're protecting this guy. He did something good. And there's a lot of no. pressure that the United States and the CIA and our intelligence brings on a government like oh, Ecuador. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't understand. I mean, th- th- look at this. They're going to bankrupt them and not give them funding they need. Mm-hmm. And half, at half a billion dollars a clip for a small country like mm-hmm. that, it's a lot of money. So, wow, that and that's great. And so, it, so now Le- Lemon Marengo, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what what is he from the same party as? Uh, or is he? A, was it? A, he's the opposition. No, he no. was. Fr- he was like just in the progressive movement in Ecuador, and so you know, I just think he wasn't as well known as as Correa, and so people trusted him because of the Correa endorsement. But then he kind of he shifted quite a bit. Now, now him and Correa are kinda in kind of an open conflict. Oh, really? Yeah. So you know, he's trying to have Interpol arrest Correa. Yeah. No some kidding. Kind of, yeah. Some trumped up some charges. corruption stuff. Meanwhile, he's just uh, bending over backwards to the U.S. government and saying, "Yeah, just buy out our entire country like a fire sale." I mean, after they were fighting this neoliberal model for so long, it's so quite how, astounding. How, can, how did Correo not see this coming then? <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, he's still eligible to run for the presidency again. That's probably why Moreno wants him arrested because Correa probably his plan was just to take four years off as a popular, you know, successful president, have his his buddy take the reins for all, and then come back and win again. And so I think Moreno's trying to prevent that. So it's quite possible that, that Correa can just return to the country and run for president and win again, which would be good for Assange if that happens in the time frame, but it looks like the <laughs> yeah, clock is ticking a little bit faster but the stakes were so high, why would he leave right then, you know? It's just so, so, you, so, you, so you think it's just a matter of time, which I do, that they're going to hand him over uh, and then he'll be, he'll be sent some, somewhere for a trial, uh, probably it's in the United like States. It. Yeah, no, people keep saying, oh, this is, you know, the charges are dropped. Why doesn't he just turn himself in? No, the U.S. has refused to say that they will not extradite him. That is literally the main crux of this. So I, that- I do think, though, if he they do try to prosecute him here in the United States yeah. anyway, I think it will backfire because I think enough people will have it explained to them about freedom of because the people just don't understand the mm-hmm. again you have to it's like you have to re-explain this stuff to people every time something comes up mm-hmm. no matter that people went and saw a movie like the post mm-hmm. they right. still have to have they can walk out of the the movie the post and and then go oh I hate that Julian Assange like how <laughs> how could you like these people and not like Julian Assange or or, or uh, Daniel Manning yeah, that's why that that whole WikiLeaks lawsuit makes no sense because you're literally talking about any publishing entity that talks about the WikiLeaks emails. Yes. So it just makes no sense. And so yeah, I think I don't know what they would, they would actually do to charge him, but it's really a grave threat to all press. But the ACLU has already come out and backed right and said things like the prosecution of Julian Assange threatens everybody right. and this is the best. so they get it mm-hmm. at least so now they've got the ACLU which everyone is I don't know if you remember because of Trump everyone loves the ACLU <laughs> they had their 25 million dollars in one weekend mm-hmm. was uh, donated to them which is more than they raised and all so they're supposed to so they're well funded right now the ACLU because of Trump and ironically they'll have an, a lot of money to fund uh you know, protecting Julian Assange, which is what a lot of those corporate Democrats who gave the ACLU money to fight Trump, they don't want him to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but actually, they have principles at the ACLU, right. which is not, which is not, it's never really respected. In it's amazing because the whole Russia gate hysteria, it's like, yeah, these GRU people were never meant to be extradited here. That was all kind of a farce. But Julian Assange would be the perfect collective punching bag for this entire 
Russiagate movement. Would, yes. They would they would just love him to just go down and put him on trial and just be like, it's your fault. And it would just be I, I just I'm really worried about what's going to happen because, you know, you know, how important the Internet is, especially to someone like him. And I don't I just don't know what he's doing day to day. We know his health is declining. Yeah, I know it's criminal. It is criminal. And I do worry about him, too. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed. Even if you think you are, you're probably not. It only takes a second to check. And then you have to ring that bell so they send you a notification when we drop a new video. Otherwise, they won't tell you when we drop new videos. And if you like our show, please help support it. Become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And we give a live stream. We do a live stream every Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific time when you could ask us questions and we answer them back. Thanks for your support.